new day, new video, new hike. This time we'll be hiking in Patong, the most popular beach destination in Phuket. We have been here for three weeks and right from the day one I have been looking at these mountains and today we will try to go up these mountains we'll try to find a hike going up these mountains right on the outskirts of Bad Kong. right on the outskirts of this most popular beach destination in Phuket the kind of place that you usually don't associate with hiking Hiking Thai style sandals and a sugary drink in a plastic bag. Well, this one's pretty advanced because it's in a cup, but ideally it would be in a bag. Uh, in a plastic bag. Yes, and it's raining, same like yesterday, same like when we were hiking to the big Buddha of Phuket in the previous video in the previous video and right from the beginning i'm feeling tired i think it has something to do with the uh, yesterday's hike at the end we walked for like 22 maybe 25 kilometers because we went all the way from potong to the big buddha we walked the whole way and then some part and then some yeah and then some part back again some beautiful beach down there and this is a Thai style hiking trail a beautiful trail this is where we are going Wow, we are approaching the Patongara waterfall, the famous Patongara. On our way up to the mountain top. According to the map, it's approximately 300 meters up the elevation gain. And there, will be also Patong zipline wow. for me it looks more like Paton pterodactyl travel safety information follow the rules check the weather get in with body I guess it means go together with someone don't go alone And this is the waterfall from a bow. It's wet. It's very wet. The rainy season in Thailand is rainy. What a surprise. I hear other hikers. These are smart people. These are Thai hikers. As I was telling on TikTok the other day, how do Thais go up these steep mountains so fast? And uh, as I said, it's an easy process. It's only two steps to... Step one, you get on the motorbike. Step two, go up the mountain. Okay, you don't see the beach anymore, but the view was very nice a moment ago and we are at the top of the mountain viewpoint. 
Welcome. Okay, what is the view? Kalim viewpoint. Now let's look for the view. Maybe it's not built yet. I see a motorbike. A house. Hiking. Yeah. 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 Okay. okay. Thank you. Hiking here. I read in the description that um, it's a popular hiking trail in Patong and so you will likely see lots of other people hiking. Mm -hmm. I see On only bikes. I see only one. Yeah, Here she saw, is. Uh, a few more hikers, but they were on their bikes. One was in a car, I or maybe several. <laughs> okay, so here is the viewpoint. The lovely viewpoint. Uh, oh yeah, Kalim. This is not. This is not the lovely viewpoint. Wow! What? what? I see stairs. Only they look suspicious to me so I think I'm not sure I want to go there wait a moment um, crazy no. thanks but no thanks thanks but no yeah this is the Kalim viewpoint the I stairs of Una says it's safe. <laughs> the Kalim viewpoint stairs. The famous Kalim viewpoint stairs. No, thank you. I won't be going up to the top. I prefer the original Thai concrete viewpoints. Thai concrete wooden benches, Thai concrete wooden tables. Oh, I trust them more. Thai oh. engineers, right? Yeah, I trust Thai engineers. I think these are maybe some, I don't know, Chinese. Just Chinese. Look, a viewpoint atop of a house. Oh, but this is wooden. This is not. This is proper wooden. This proper is. Wooden. This is not Thai wooden. I think. I think these also are some, maybe European engineers after all. So the view. Here it is. And from here we will start a, 11 kilometer walk. What? 11 kilometer. 11 more. 11 more. 11 oh. kilometer hike. And so the walk continues, the morning walk here in Patong. It's a loop trail and there was a choice either to go to the right or to the left. We thought we will take the one which looks prettier, where there is a higher chance that we won't end up Exploring the jungle like in Kopi Pin a few minutes after starting the walk, and then they both looked good, so we went to the left simply because it looked like there might be something interesting sooner, some kind of I don't know viewpoint, maybe. I just saw some marking on the trail map on the old trails app that I'm uh, using here. I'm using the free version. Oh, by the way, there are people's houses here. And there it looks like some, I don't know, farm maybe. Some plantation. I see a dog. A black dog on the right and we have a wet rain coming 
from the sky. Very wet tight rain. Welcome to the Thai forest. The beautiful Thai forest. Yes, on the internet it says that this trail is of medium difficulty. So far I would say it's an easy trail because it's basically a road, this Thai concrete road, so it's easy to follow it. But you need to go uphill. But you need to go uphill a lot and that's 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 the difficult part, but uh, I don't know if you need to call a hike medium difficulty or hard only because of how steep it is because if it's kind of common sense if you see that the hike is 11 kilometers and uh, with an elevation gain of 600 meters like you know what it is doesn't matter it's easy to follow this hike and uh, so far it's a road and so far it looks like a quite steep road at one point however it should start going down and every once in a while there is either a people's house or I don't know these shelters I think they are for workers working in the forest we saw some rubber trees oh there's even a tent this looks like a touristy thing because uh, Thais would just go to a shelter Thais that are working in the forest people working in the forest they would use a shelter, not a tent to hide from the rain oh, I see a nice house there is a house and I see Uno coming some crazy monkeys here This monkey looks suspicious. Let's go. It almost looks like an abandoned um something to this team. Patong zipline adventure. Oh. I think we won't be having a patong zipline adventure today. You are not allowed to touch her. Beautiful lady. No, she's not saying anything. Yeah, looks like the Patong zipline adventure isn't happening today. We ended somewhere. I don't know where but men told us that we can go somewhere oh. here no not here yeah to cut to we can go down yeah, here you can go you can talk in a uh, turn, uh, turn right uh, uh -huh. to, there is a uh, yeah, yeah but uh, about uh, one kilometer yeah in the free junction turn right turn right okay yeah, yeah thank you but here yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. ah yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Oh. i see the road okay. so this is where the tourists go okay 
you know what now i will call this trail medium difficulty this is already a medium difficulty hiking trail especially now when it's raining oh, we are going to it's a medium difficulty trail right yeah it's all right it's not great not terrible not great not terrible same like to the big buddha wow. no the buddhas might be better because uh, it's it, shorter this yeah one's long. this one is long yeah right um we are going either to Katu, which is a town next to Patong and um, more or less uh, halfway through this hike that we took or we'll go back from Katu to the starting point where we started this hike today we'll see we might end the hike in Katu because it's raining and where next? Where do we go next? The man said, I think, turn to the right. Here is the thing about Katum, this town that we are heading to. During the recent rains, there was a landslide and the main road connecting Katu and Patong was partly destroyed they were they are they are building a new road now and um, we don't know if it's even possible to take that road to go back to Patong if it won't be possible then we will have to hike back we'll have to finish the trail that we embarked on okay so I think these are the trees where we turn to the right where we go to the right oh i see a brown river down there and we are back wow fuck we are back on a normal road again we are back on the tourist trail again the tie slippers are holding surprisingly well and again we are nearing the civilization if you see people on motorbikes that's a good sign that's always a good sign these narrow concrete kind of roads uh, built for motorbikes they remind me a lot of bali we have done at least a couple thousands of kilometers driving on small mountain roads like this some even worse than this. Yeah, this one is pretty decent. Yeah, this one is pretty decent, as Una is saying. Because you see, there is a road, you see it. Some of the valley ones are like, I don't know, two, three inches wide. This one is a proper road. Yeah, this one is a proper jungle highway, actually. <laughs> but the bad thing about walking on these roads when compared to walking on a trail is that when it's raining, it's slippery. It can be very slippery, like same like uh, walking on ice in Europe in winter. Careful. Wow, this one's... Some 20 minutes ago I wasn't sure if we will make it to Katu or if we will have to turn around, but now it looks very promising. It's relaxing. It's relaxing, yeah. And now we know that you don't need to spend 50 cents on a Sanktau to go from Patong to Katu. You can um, 
just take a two hour walk through jungle maybe two hours and 30 minutes if you get lost like we did no need to spend 50 cents on song tau no i'm better going here yeah. the jungle highways of phuket thailand and we are almost down the mountain we are approaching the town katu and we have decided to take a road not take a hike back to patong we'll be just walking on the side of the road hopefully it's possible to walk on the side of the road now um yeah and so here is one and thailand travel tip for you as i said if you are taking this two hour hike instead of two minute ride you can save 50 cents take this hike 10,000 times and save five thousand dollars yeah easy that's it that's it for today that's it for this video see you soon from somewhere else in thailand